this video, we will talk about the electrode potential and cell potential. Firstly, to understand the concept of electrode potential, let us consider a metal rod, which is placed in contact with its own ions. Here, depending on the tendency of the metal or its ions, there are two main possibilities that can take place. The first main possibility is that the metal ions on collision with the metal rod may gain electrons and change into the metal atoms. Here that means the metal ions are reduced. Now this happens only if the metal ions have a relatively higher tendency to gain electrons or in other words we can say that the electrode has a higher potential to get reduced or simply we can say that it has a reduction potential. So when this happens, the metal ions will gain electrons from the metal rod and as a result, the metal rod will develop a positive charge with respect to the solution and ultimately an equilibrium is reached. The second possibility is that the metal atoms of the metal rod may lose electrons and change to the metal ions. Now this happens only if the metal has a relative ten tendency to lose electrons. Or in other words, we can say that the electrode has a higher potential to get oxidized or simply we can say that it has an oxidation potential. So when this happens, the electrons will accumulate on the metal rod, which will therefore develop a negative charge. This in turn may attract the metal ions from the solution, which may change into the metal atoms. Ultimately, an equilibrium is reached. Thus, electrode potential can simply be defined as the tendency of an electrode to lose or gain electrons when it is in contact with a solution of its own ions. If in the half cell, the metal rod is suspended in a solution of one molar concentration and the temperature is kept at 298 Kelvin or 25 degrees Celsius, the electrode potential is called standard electrode potential and it is usually represented by E0. In simpler terms, it is the electrode potential measured at standard conditions. Also, if the gas is involved, the standard conditions chosen are 1 atmospheric pressure and 298 Kelvin. The absolute value of electrode potential of a single electrode cannot be determined. This is because the oxidation half reaction or reduction half reaction cannot take place alone. It can be measured only by using some electrode as a reference electrode. The reference electrode used is the standard hydrogen electrode. In a standard hydrogen electrode, Hydrogen gas at 1 bar pressure is passed into a 1 molar HCl solution at 298 Kelvin, in which a foil of platinum coated with platinum black remains immersed. This electrode simply acts as the inert electrode through which the inflow or outflow of electrons takes place. When in a cell, this electrode acts as anode, that is, oxidation takes place. The hydrogen gas changes into hydrogen plus ions, which goes into the solution. When this electrode acts as cathode, that is, reduction takes place, the hydrogen plus ions from the solution changes into hydrogen gas. This means that the electrode is reversible with respect to the hydrogen plus ions. The electrode potential of this standard hydrogen electrode is taken as zero at 298 Kelvin. So, let us see how the electrode potential is determined 
using the following examples. Let us first see how the standard electrode potential of zinc electrode is determined. Here, the zinc electrode which is immersed in a one molar solution of zinc sulfate is connected to the standard hydrogen electrode as shown in this setup. Now, the EMF of the cell comes out to be 0 0.76 volts. This is the standard electrode potential of zinc. Here, the flow of current indicates that oxidation takes place at the zinc electrode. Now, how do we know that? Well, as we know that the flow of current is always opposite to the flow of electrons. So, as we can see here, that the flow of current is towards the zinc electrode, which means that the electrons are flowing away from it, and this means that oxidation has taken place. It is also important to mention here that all electrode potential values are expressed as reduction potentials. Since the reduction half reaction is just the reverse of the oxidation half reaction, therefore we obtain the reduction potential by simply changing the sign of the oxidation potential value. That is why for the zinc electrode, the standard electrode potential is minus 0 0.76 volts. Now, let us take a look at another example. Let us see how the standard electrode potential of copper electrode is determined. Here, the copper electrode which is immersed in a 1 molar solution of copper sulphate is connected to the standard hydrogen electrode as shown in this setup. Now, the EMF of the cell comes out to be 0 0.34 volts. This is the standard electrode potential of copper. Here, the flow of current indicates that reduction takes place at the copper electrode. Again, as we can see here that the flow of current is towards the standard hydrogen electrode, which means that electrons are flowing away from it and towards the copper electrode. This shows that the reduction takes place at the copper electrode. Now, let us understand the concept of cell potential or EMF of the cell. As we have already seen, the electrochemical cell is made up of two electrodes or half cells. Now, one of these electrodes must have a higher electrode potential or higher tendency to lose electrons than the other electrode. As a result of this potential difference, the electrons flow from the electrode at a higher potential to the electrode at a lower potential. The difference between the electrode potentials of the two half cells is known as cell potential. Now, this is called electromotive force or the EMF of the cell if no current is drawn from the cell. The standard EMF of the cell is equal to the sum of the standard oxidation potential of the oxidation half reaction and the standard reduction potential of the reduction half reaction. Now, as we have already discussed, that it is a common practice that electrode potentials are expressed as reduction potentials. And we obtain the reduction potential by simply changing the sign of the oxidation potential value. Thus, the standard EMF of the cell is equal to the standard reduction potential of the reduction half reaction minus the standard oxidation potential of the oxidation half reaction. Furthermore, as in the representation of a cell, the electrode on which oxidation takes place, that is the anode, is always written on the left hand side and the electrode on which reduction takes place, that is the cathode, is written on the right hand side. Then the expression can be written as E naught cell is equal to E naught cathode minus 
E naught M. The standard electrode potentials of a large number of electrodes have been determined using the standard hydrogen electrode as the reference electrode for which the electrode potential has been fixed as zero. The elements are written in the increasing order of their standard electrode potentials, that is the standard reduction potentials, and they constitute a series known as the electrochemical series.